Um, all right, well, let's uh, let's get into this. Let's let's dive in. I know we've got plenty of things to talk about, and uh, Chief's been in here stirring up the community for the last hour, arguing. Oh, oh mate, well, that's not fair. Oh, yeah, just I don't stir him up. Stirring him up, such, mate. You've got the wrong impression of me. Yeah, baiting them, if you will. So. Uh, yeah. Obviously, heaps to talk about, and it's uh, once again great to be here with everybody on our weekly live. Um, if I don't introduce myself, I know how to get sent So I'm Joe, community manager, and obviously we have Red and Chief up here. Um, I believe we will have some of the rest of the team joining. I'm not 100% sure, but worst case scenario, we do have Chief here, and I'm sure I'll be able to dox Cody at some stage. Um, just That's just what we do. He can never hide that guy. Um, but let's... Uh, Let's dive straight in. I know you've got plenty to talk about, Chief. Do you want to kick us off? Yeah, yeah. And, and it's glad to know that I'm uh, worst case. Thanks. I appreciate it, mate. <laughs> worst and best. Worst and best. Uh, look, um, I think before I start... Case. <laughs> Sorry, mate? As I say, we'll just leave it at case. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, look, before I start, I think um, uh, what I'd like to do is, um, on behalf of the whole team, and I know he's not here today, I know why, because I've just been talking with him, is um, uh, uh, Merkel Root. Now, he's actually on a call with the devs at the moment, and um, you might understand why in a second. But um, before that, on behalf of the whole L1X team and the community, um, I think uh, you all want to wish, um, uh, like myself, uh, wish Merkel Root a happy birthday. Um, I know that everyone in the office is honoured to be part of the L1X journey um, uh, with Merkel Root, and boy, what a journey it is. Um, so that's not the alpha, okay? So the other night, going back a few nights now, um, Merkel Root, myself and Observer were on a call um, with an uh, organisation uh, which saw Merkel Root and a founder from that organisation have an extreme developer discussion. Um, around both LNX and uh, um, that particular uh, organization's capabilities. I tell you what, it was such an enjoyable conversation to be part of, um, and we really saw Merkel Root in his element. It was just such a, a, a fascinating call to, to, to be on. Now, the outcome of that and other meetings is that we're now in the process of signing an agreement with uh, that organization to provide digital identity and access control with full smart contract integration and node integration for their users. Um, and that user base uh, initially is the size of a small country. Okay, um, now um, this particular project is the reason that we've held off launching our digital identity um, solution. This, so the solution itself will redefine the concept of a universal decentralized identity. Um, it will facilitate a decentralized, transparent, and a very mutually beneficial platform. Um, and I'm using the word entities here um, and their users. No, I can't name them just yet, and the reason is that um, we're just going through putting together the uh, the legal agreement. Um, but as soon as that's signed, we will be announcing this um, to uh, to the whole community. Um, but to say it's big, when you start talking the size of a country, it's big. Um, I wish I could actually say more. I'm sitting here itching, and uh, uh, there's a couple of people around in the team that know. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll be announcing the name very very shortly, and I think you'll be all quite um, uh, quite excited to see where it's going to go. Um, on a different note, um, our partner, the other one of the other partners, Diga Labs, um, they're building out our um, gaming launchpad solution and the games that uh, they're going to be re um, releasing on that, and they'll become part of the uh, of our wallet. As of yesterday, we've we've identified uh, the first nine games that we're looking to launch, and we've got about forty odd other games under consideration. Um, and we should start test alpha testing on the uh, those first nine in, within a week or so. And to quote the Deagle Labs CEO, um, I can't wait to spread L1X's capabilities to the world. We'll prepare a good PR and marketing campaign for our partnership. Spreading this news is really important for both parties. We can create a good brand awareness for Layer one x and Deagle Labs together. They're very, very excited to see them on the call and uh, how that conversation, those conversations have been going. We've had quite a few. Uh, we're now working through the technical side of it, uh, and it's going extremely well. Um, when we when we're talking to all these projects, it's um, it, it's I think it's important to also point out that even though we might be talking to lots and lots of different projects and hundreds, um, the team that the work the team is doing in the background to actually bring some of these projects on and set up the calls and the discussions. It's a huge amount of work that the that our, um, our team is doing, uh, and it is very, very much appreciated. 
because uh, it's going to benefit us all. Um, but we are being very selective of those projects and the capabilities that we're onboarding. Um, what we're really looking at putting to get in place is, are the foundation solutions uh, across some very significant market sectors, um, you know, such as gaming, digital identity, uh, DeFi, healthcare, um, and they're just the starting points. So, yes. any questions? Oh, I was just going to say, to give perspective of smallest countries, it just got me wondering why you were saying that, you know, you're saying small country uh, in terms of size-wise population, it's in the tens of thousands for even the smallest ones. So, I mean, if you're not excited by that, it's... Uh, I, uh, and I didn't say a small country. I said a country. A country. I don't know. I just, I, I, um, I went on a tangent <laughs> to like Antarctica. Absolutely. No, 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 no. It's, yeah. It's, There's 110 people in Antarctica at any one time. You'd be happy to know. Absolutely. So it's more than that. Oh, way more than that. It's a, it's a big, big number. I'm just baiting over here. I know. I'm just getting, know. getting you excited. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, it's awesome. And I think as well, it, the community is very excited to hear we've got you know, things inbound in terms of, especially the gaming. Uh, nine games is not a small number in itself. And, and this is all in, you know, we're still in beta main now. There's so much stuff that's obviously coming out in the next few months and the next few weeks that it is groundbreaking as well. So to hear, because like, you look at other blockchains and you think, oh, well, how many games do they have or, or whatever? And for us to have nine already um, being able to operate our tech is just, I think, unbelievable. Uh, definitely it is, yeah. Um, look, I've, I've even been doing some modelling um, uh, around those games and um, uh, what we do is we, when I'm doing that, I'll go out and I'll look at some of the games that are out there already and the, uh, their user base. Um, and so I'll do a little bit of modelling around that. Um, and when we start talking about um, uh, the numbers of actually um, uh, uh, average sort of daily users, uh, the number of transactions that'll go through, um, when you start looking at those, those numbers... Um, start moving up very quickly into the um, hundreds of millions of transactions and then into the billions very, very quickly. All you've got to do is just look at some of those games out there that have been um, uh, very successful. And sometimes you don't have to invent a you know, completely new game. Sometimes you go out with stuff that's, that's known. could be anything from chess all the way through to those um, uh, other games that are highly um, uh, addictive that have very short play times. Um, and that's what we're sort of building around at the moment. And you start seeing the uh, the number of transactions going through. Uh, the the only blockchain out there that will be able to handle this is Layer One X. That's massive. And, and as you say, in all the calls we're getting in, and all the calls with the projects and things, and it just seems to be a, re a recurring theme with everybody I talk to, which is just wow, these are the things you can do, and if you can really do, and all these sorts of things. It, it's just a it's like a carbon copy each time and being able to provide the docs and being able to provide that further information, I think is a eye-opening experience for, for everybody in the, in the crypto sphere. And obviously there's a lot of excitement at the moment too, with a little bit of green action. Everybody, everybody always gets a bit frothy around the mouth when there's some green action. So uh, things are definitely looking up, especially as we lead into the ACC. I know we've got a, a big ground presence happening there. Um, very excited for how the, the street team's building out as well. Um, I see we've got Cryptonaut sneak his way in. Uh, can't be hiding in the back of the class. <clears throat> How are you on your side of the world, sir? I am doing well, thanks. Are you also hooked up to the coffee drip? No, Red Bull. Fair. The, the alternate, the, the nighttime alternate to coffee. Um, Chief, do you have any more updates you want to dive into before we pass over to Crypto Nord to give us an overview of where things are from his end? Um, no, I uh, look. I've always got all sorts uh, going on, but um, none that I I can share today. Um, I think that was enough uh, uh, for one. Um, but as soon as you guys, um, uh, as soon as we uh, get that agreement signed, I will be going out with a name, or we will be going out with a name, um, and uh, I think it will start making sense uh, about what I've been talking about. But it's huge. When you start looking at it, you know, I mentioned before the universal decentralized identity and the reason that we've held off, this is the reason. Um, universal decentralized identity, it's, it's huge and it's coming. 
maybe we should run like a uh, a lottery style thing to see which country is the closest size to what you're referencing. Everybody can pick a country, just yeah, like drawing yeah. horses for the Melbourne Cup. Yep. Good. Good luck in trying to guess that one. Uh, crypto not. Let's um, let's dive in. How's things on your end? Yeah, things are going really well. Um, I just uh, dropped in a, an image in the chat for anybody's curious who, what I'm working on right now. So can't give too much information, but it's a fun little project. Let's just say that. It's just puzzle pieces everywhere, really, isn't it? What's going on here? It is. It is. What does um, it all mean? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they should pay attention to the L1X app over the next few months. Very interesting. Um, I suppose in terms of the L1X app and, and the, the spa or L1X spaces or um, the variety of other names that we have for it, how, how is that going? How's the rollout? How do you, how do you find from your perspective as, as CXO how, how that's looking? Um, what are your general thoughts? Good, good. I mean, with like any project that's a product that's coming out, um, you know, you got to take it in strides. It's it's an ever, ever ending um, kind of project that allows us to keep evolving and adding new things. But I think with a lot of the things that we've got coming up here um, before mainnet launch, um, there's going to be some real game changers in my mind. Um, we've, uh, we're building out one of them on the backbone of, uh, of, a a unique, um, way to basically create and interact with the, uh, blockchain, uh, data. And, uh, we'll probably be releasing some of that alpha a little bit more later towards the end of this month. Um, but it will basically help you with, uh, things like um you know your profiles uh, being able to uh literally create um even social posts it'll allow you to basically do uh pretty much anything um with it it's it's kind of a unique thing and then you can tie it together with a whole bunch of uh different content um to possibly even build you know websites or even uh, you know, if you're a video YouTube influencer, it might be a great way to utilize it as well. Um, can't give too much, <laughs> probably given too much already, but uh, hopefully that kind of sparks some curiosity with a few people. Just little tidbits like putting together the puzzle, uh, puzzle as always. Uh... I'm just trying to uh, just, just roll through a list of things that we've got. Um, and I know some of the stuff we don't necessarily have an update. Some some other stuff maybe Matt Shu might be better suited to, and I'm not sure he's around. I think he's still away. Um, in, in terms of X Perks program, the X Perks program, um, do we have any updates on, on either of those fronts? Um, I know that obviously the X Perks program, uh, Cody, that's a bit more your end, but I don't know you sort of just touched on that a little bit. Uh, do we have? Yeah, sorry, go on. The experts or ex perks? So both both was the question, but I realised that Matthew's probably more the ex perks. Um, but it, update on either um, from either front would be excellent. Uh, yeah, um, we are basically in the process of uh, building out the ex perks program in the L1X app. Um, so that one should be coming out. I don't know the exact time frame on that one, but uh, we should be uh, fairly close in the next few weeks, uh, I would assume. Um, likewise, with the experts program, um, we got some good headway making there. I know that the uh, X team has been working double time trying to to uh, reach out to different projects, developers, um, communities. Uh, trying to uh, start spreading the word about the experts program, or excuse me, experts program. You have too many X products out there. <laughs> it's kind of hard to keep them straight sometimes, but uh, 
but yeah um so the x team's been working really well with that uh so if you guys uh get to the point where we're uh, raring to go with the experts program highly recommend you guys uh sign up get going with it and uh start spreading the love and building the ecosystem Definitely. I know uh, between myself, Sam and Red, we're, we're doing a, a lot of that outreach as well, exactly as I said, on that ex, expert front and obviously the the project outreach. And it's just been a, a huge, huge jobs from Chief and Matt Shu and FA as well with the with everything that we're going on in terms of taking meetings and and getting us uh, in front of projects as well. I know that this is why they need the coffee drip. So massive props to them for being able to get on top of all the all the fun stuff that we've got, uh, I guess, coming through the pipeline so that we can get the L1X Dream in front of everybody as well. So massive props to you guys. Um, is there anything else from from your front that you guys want to just throw in while we've got you here? I know that we've got things that we can only say so much about, obviously, uh, until they're confirmed. But is there anything else that you want to throw out there? Any little sneaky little bits of alpha that we can squeeze out of out of you guys while you're here? Just sneaky bits. Definitely not. Uh, oh, we we can't release too much alpha there, mate. It's just well, yeah, that would just be wrong, you know. Um, I don't know. What about like mini alpha? <laughs> what if we just don't call it alpha and we just call it like a slight mishandling of information? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. Just, let me have a think. I'll see my notes. Uh, hang on, where's the this is dangerous for the notes section. Yeah, I, say, I, yeah love how, I love how Gary G calls out. We won't tell anyone <laughs> on the live. Yeah, yeah, we're not telling anyone. It's it's not it's it's not going to leave this room or the internet. How, how big could that possibly? Yeah, be? it's yeah. Of course, the internet's not that big. You know, yeah. it'll never catch on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's not even a yeah. thing. Uh, while we're yeah. going through Chief's notebook, if you do have any questions, throw them in the uh, <laughs> throw them in the comments. And we'll we'll touch well, on those back around while the guys guess, are sifting. For for those that actually um, uh, work on more of a project basis, um, uh, to give you an idea that um, once we have those first few calls, uh, we then put together some boring stuff like um, uh, you know a scope document, uh, and uh, then Mercury goes in and he creates all of his flow diagrams uh, uh, in Miro, um, and um, uh, actually, I'm sure I had that up on the screen. Uh, you start looking at all the technical detail and the level of the level of detail that that uh, Merkel Rick goes to when he's actually building out these. Um, just before this call, I was actually out uh, having a chat with him, and he's describing how the uh, those smart contracts are going to integrate be, um, between the other entity and ourselves, and how we're going to um, uh, start um, leveraging or benefiting both parties in those uh, uh, in the that integration. You know, so there'll be things in there like uh, the secure wallet integration, obviously the cross-chain side, um, the digital identity itself, how we're going to pass information to be able to to send not just digital identity, but it's also going to be things like um, uh, uh, the ability to share data as well, so files and things like that. So there's, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot to be done, um, but he's already been working on it since then, uh, and I think he'll probably have something up within about the next 10 days uh, of you know, the first stage that we can then take back to that particular um, entity to, uh, to, to, to work on. So he's, he's a very fast worker in that uh, regard. Fantastic. Just little, uh, little nuggets of the puzzle to put together. Progressive puzzle. Eventually this puzzle is going to all be, you know, it's all going to come together and it's going to be magnificent. Absolutely, and look, I'm, I'm, I do apologise. I can't say the name, but it is a. We've got to make sure we've got um, not only just uh, non-disclosure agreements, but also um, uh, we've got our, you know, the main legal agreements in place about who can say what when. Uh, that that's the sort of level we go to. We don't. Uh, we're not mucking around here just with um, uh, with small small projects and small pieces of work. This is absolutely huge. I can't stress that enough. You could give it a name. We could just call it Project Beatrice or something. We'll call it Omega. Omega. I, I, I don't know whether the, the current Omega that we've got in here would be super excited about that. You've got a a, a whole thing named after you. Um, I saw Bunny Arrow here a second ago. I don't know if she's gone or come back or trying to get in. Um, while she's 
possibly trying to get in, even if we just go around. Um, and like I said, we don't want, don't want to drag this out, obviously, and it, it turn into us just discussing standard uniforms for the ACC or anything like that. Um, let's just keep it on the alpha and we'll keep keep rocking there. But is there, I guess, closing statements, anything from you guys, anything we should look out for in the next couple of weeks um, while we just wind you guys down so we can let you get back to work? Yeah, um, just keep watching out because um, when we, we have those agreements in place, we'll be announcing the name. Uh, imagine doing uh, digital identities, creating tamper-proof, verifiable digital identities, access control, granting permissions to digital services and resources. Um, voting systems, reducing the risk of electronic fraud um, and and users with the wallets. Yeah, that's pretty massive. But that digital identity that. thing, I can't stress that enough of how cool that's going to be. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's across gaming, it's across health, it's across literally everything. And it, it it gets me really excited because it puts the user back in control of their data, which is absolutely phenomenal. That's yeah. the end goal. And Cryptonaut Brother, I think you just touched on it uh, really well there because um, when we start talking about uh, this particular um, project Omega, as we'll call it, um, the, the, the ability for some of those other products to be made available through it, uh, so via the wallet uh, to bring those users on, um, access to uh, to games so they want to jump out of um, uh, you know the, the digital identity it's all going to be part of that same uh, the same wallet it's absolutely massive I, I think to obviously leave on that note it, it puts the possibilities in perspective um, and I know I can see in the chat everybody's sort of like oh can you give us what what does the country start with no clues people no clues uh, <laughs> So, work it out yourselves. Um, yeah, and if you guess and, right, and, and, if you guess right, you're wrong. <laughs> that's right. You're still wrong either way. Uh, so, yeah. Any, any other closing statements from from you guys before we let you jump off? Um, basically, from me, just keep the. Uh, Keep the word of mouth uh, marketing and, and grassroots campaigns going with your friends and family. Um, it's, uh, it is uh, imperative that we keep uh, pushing that forward, especially as we, we, we hope to get adoption here very, very quickly with the L1X app. Um, it will be a, a definite game changer come mainnet launch. There'll be a lot of interesting functions and features in there. And, uh, so it, it will definitely change your overall experience with crypto. I can tell you that much. So I'm pretty excited about it. And I hope you guys are too, that you're willing to share it with your friends and family. Perfect. Um, I just, I've got one question here about the L1 decks. Um, obviously, just just as an aside, those guys are a, a separate team. Um, obviously, we, it'd be great to get them back on here as well for a bit of an AMA style thing. But obviously, they're going to have the the most update up to date information about their own project in their own um, servers as well. I know they've got a, a Discord, so those questions about where they're at are probably best directed towards them at this stage. Um, obviously, we're working closely with them, but they're obviously uh, at the the bleeding edge of where they're at. So. Um, specific updates about L1 Dex is probably best asked direct to them. Uh, in terms of the, and maybe you guys can shed light on this as well, the swap, I think that's in reference to the L1X app. Um, I think it has a date on it, but I can't be sure. Um, do you guys have any further information about when swap will go live? Um, I don't. Um, my focus has been pretty heavy on uh, uh, the, the projects and the onboarding and uh, talking to all those uh, groups. Um, I know uh, Merkel Reach has been uh, working with our um, lead designer very closely on that uh, and how we can uh, introduce it and also with the devs obviously on the back end. Um, so I, I don't have the date but I'm, I'm sure it's uh, I'm sure it's, it's out there. Yeah, yeah cool. uh, we're, we're getting pretty close. Uh, there's a website that'll be coming out that'll explain it more. Um, how to get involved with it, that kind of stuff. So I know that there's a few uh, marketing uh, pieces that are just waiting for final approval. 
Perfect. Yeah. So it's just um, going through sequence of stuff. Long story short, it's coming soon, um, but we can't give definitive date at, at this stage. Um, all right. Cool. So uh, I think that's that's mostly it from all of our end. Um, just uh, quick aside for me, obviously from the community perspective, uh, the we have the Australian Crypto Convention coming up, and it's like it's only like two weeks away, or nearly two and a half weeks away from now. Uh, if you're looking to go down that way, you're looking to head to the, the convention or, or anything like that, and you want to be there with Layer one x we do have a Gleam going at the moment, so you can be a part of the street team. And uh, We all already have some amazing people on board for it, and I'm really looking forward to how that's going to play out and, and what it's going to be like down there. But once again, we're trying to create that vision of, you know, we want to have a, a strong presence there so that we can let the world know and start to really get out there um, and show what potential we have as as a blockchain and as Australia's um, first layer one. So uh, if we can be down there and make as much noise as possible, the more of you that can get down there, the better. Um, and obviously we have means for people to be there if they can make it down as well through our uh, street team, uh, let's call it opportunity. Um, so if you're unsure about any of that, even just reach out to me if, you're, if you need assistance with anything. Um, from my end, I'm pretty sure that's that's mostly it. Um, we can wrap that up. Uh, anything from you, Red? No, nope, that sounds good. I know uh, Spark was trying to get in a couple times, but uh, I guess he's having uh, battery issues or something. Yeah, I think he, he got a new phone, so yeah, probably need a bit maybe, of education. I think maybe the headphones will work on this one this time. I know, I know, Spark always has real trouble with his headphones. Um. Bunny Arrow, I see you in the crowd there trying to, to hide. I'm going to just, you know, call you out and dox you straight to stage. Um, if you want to jump up and give us a, an overview, by all means. But if not, we'll call it there. I'll just give her a, a few seconds. No, all good. So we'll wrap it up there. Um, once again, thanks, everybody, for coming. We appreciate having you here, as always. Uh, we will continue on in our standard schedule and obviously give you updates uh, as we can with our lives. So this is this is a, a permanent picture for us to, as a community to get together and obviously the team jumps in when they can as well. Um, so if you do have any questions, like I said, about the ACC, by all means, just get in touch with me. We can get that hooked up. Uh, but no, we have some very exciting things coming. Start thinking of all the countries that you know and start listing them down via... Uh, Population amounts, alphabetically, let's get a brainstorm on. Maybe you can crack the code that Chief's putting down and, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. But let, let's wrap that up. Thanks, everybody, for jumping on. Um, I, just I a final thing. i got to give him a hint on the country. It's, it's No, you can't. You know, la, 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 la. <laughs> not allowed to say it. No, definitely not. <laughs> Chief, Chief's not. I can mute Chief. That's easy. Yeah. We go. Hang on, you, you forget you forget that I'm uh, I actually got the crown on uh, on Discord, so Oh we can uh -oh. we, we can work around that. <laughs> we can start another live. You you could try. Um but no the, it's um I, I wish I could actually say the uh, the name. Um but I think you guys are, what I said was very carefully in my words, it's the size of a country. I didn't say it's a country. That could mean anything. But I'm not saying it's not. But it could be. <laughs> but it might not be. That's all very up in the so air, really. So it could, could or could not have to do with one. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah. But I think you'll all be pretty impressed when you see when you hear it. I'm. I am itching to tell you all. I seriously am. But legally, I can't. That's the. Oh, you, you don't know how frustrating that is. You better end this AMA now before I think so. Yeah, yeah. Before somebody gives something away. Yeah. Wait here long enough. Somebody's going to let something slip. We'll just keep the channel open and yeah. let Chief slowly leave. And I reckon we could torture it out of crypto. I, yeah. No, we'll call it there. Call it there, everybody. It's too call much. Day. Call it there. Call it I right. told you which country it wasn't. So. Yeah, well, it's, definitely, it's definitely not Antarctica. Uh, and it's definitely not a small country. It's not the Vatican in size. All right, wrap it there, people. Wrap it there. Once again, <laughs> thanks for coming. Um, and we will see you on the next one. <laughs>